two IDF soldiers were indicted Tuesday for attacking a fellow soldier serving in their unit earlier this month, the IDF spokesperson's unit announced Tuesday the two were charged with assault causing serious injury under aggravated circumstances. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, ID, VAR JS, FJS equal D get elements tag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, ID, return, JS equal D creatilement, S, JS dot ID equal ID, JS SRC equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash n underscore us slash all JS number XFBML equal one and app ID equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven, FJS parent node insert before, JS, FJS, document, script, Facebook JS SDK, an investigation by the IDF's Criminal Investigation Division, CID, into the beating of the soldier, a Druze, was opened after family members took to social media posting pictures of the bloodied soldier lying unconscious on the ground after the savage beatings according to the indictment, the two soldiers beat the Druze soldier in two separate incidents. The second time reportedly came after he complained about the first beating, and left him with a bleeding and broken nose. Following the beatings, he required medical treatment and prolonged sick leave he was savagely kicked and punched by two soldiers for refusing to vacate his dorm. The following day, they attacked him again, until he lost consciousness and lay prone, bleeding and humiliated on the ground, his family wrote in a viral Facebook post. The soldier felt it might cost him his life. Luckily, Soldiers and other officers who were nearby stopped the incident, otherwise it is impossible to know how it might have ended. The family member went on to say that the victim's base commander, an officer with the rank of lieutenant colonel, denied his request to be taken to a doctor in a military vehicle after he explained he was in extreme pain, reportedly telling him instead that he had to make his own way there. Only hours later did the base commander agree to use a military vehicle to transport him to the hospital, but despite doctors recommending that he go home to rest, he was summoned back to his base the victim's grandfather said Hussein told Yediat Aranat that everyone on the base should be held to account for the incident look at the pictures. They speak for themselves. I wouldn't say these were punches. I would say this was an attempted murder, he said. Everyone on the base responsible needs to be held to account. It doesn't matter whether he was a Druze soldier, a Muslim soldier or a Jewish soldier. He is a soldier in the IDF. Alongside the filing of the indictment, the defendants were requested to be remanded until the end of the legal proceedings against them. The IDF will not accept violence against soldiers and will continue to act with all the tools at its disposal to prevent the recurrence of similar events and to bring to justice those who acted violently and against the law, read the IDF statement Eric Sumner contributed to this report. Share on Facebook Share on Twitter tags, Drew's IDF Hospital Investigation.